Alright guys, welcome to today's video and today we're going to be continuing our look at how Formula 1 would be different if it used a NASCAR style playoff format. Last time out we saw that Lewis Hamilton would still go on to win the 2014 title just over Felipe Massa instead of Nico Rosberg and today we'll see how the 2015 season would unfold. First of all, a quick reminder over how this playoff system works. Our playoffs take up the final seven races of the season with the rounds of 12, 8 and 4. This means that 2015 will have a 12 race regular season. Win and you're in will be used and each race win awards a driver three playoff points. 2015 would see several notable changes in Formula 1 headlined by the return of Honda as an engine supplier for McLaren. Fernando Alonso returned to McLaren after eight years away as Sebastian Vettel took his seat at Ferrari and Daniel Kvyat was promoted to Red Bull. At the season opening Australian Grand Prix, Hamilton started where he left off, taking the first of seven wins in the regular season to lock himself into the playoffs. In Malaysia, however, Vettel and Ferrari would pull off a surprise victory for the Scuderia's first win since Spain 2013. After Hamilton won in China and Bahrain, Rosberg would take his first win of the season in Spain and double up two weeks later in Monaco. At this point of the season, Kimi Raikkonen, Valtteri Bottas, Massa, Daniel Ricciardo, Kvyat, Felipe Nazza, Roman Grosjean, Sergio Perez and Carlos Sainz were sat in the provisional playoff grid, with Sainz three points ahead of teammate Max Verstappen. As Hamilton and Rosberg won in Canada and Austria, Nico Hülkenberg scored an 8th and 6th place finish to move ahead of Sainz, and after Hamilton won at Silverstone, the playoff cut line looked like the following. Grosjean on 17 and Nasser on 16, just in, Pastor Maldonado on 13 and Verstappen on 10, just out. As Vettel took a moving victory at the Hungarian Grand Prix, Verstappen pulled off a shock 4th place finish to move into the top 12 for the first time all season, 6 points clear of Nasser. Whilst Hamilton swept Spa and Monza to finish the regular season, Grosjean's podium in Belgium moved him up to ninth in the championship, 22 points clear and locked himself into the playoffs. With the only driver outside the playoffs to score points in Monza being Marcus Ericsson, it was confirmed that the 12 playoff drivers in 2015 would be Hamilton, Rosberg, Vettel, Massa, Raikkonen, Bottas, Kvyat, Ricardo, Grosjean, Perez, Hülkenberg and Verstappen. Since the start of the V6 era, Mercedes had had the quickest car every weekend without fail, but in the opening race of the round of 12 in Singapore that was all about to change. Hamilton and Rosberg could only qualify on the third row of the grid, and it was Vettel and Ferrari who converted pole into a race victory to lock themselves into the round of eight, something neither Ferrari had achieved in 2014. Despite finishing fourth and retiring respectively, Rosberg and Hamilton's playoff points kept them second and third in the standings, as the worst luck of Singapore befell Hülkenberg who failed to start. A 1-2 in Japan secured both Mercedes's their round of eight berths. At the cut-off battle, Kvyat and Hülkenberg both sat on 2008 points, with Perez, Grosjean and Verstappen on 2006. Massa, 2014's playoff runner-up, was yet to score after having a DNF in Singapore and a 17th place finish in Japan, meaning he had it all to do in the round of eight ending Russian Grand Prix. As Hamilton notched up his second win in a row from Vettel, an intense playoff battle would see Hülkenberg and Grosjean retire, as Perez finished third to lock himself into the next round. Massa finished fourth, but a fifth place for Kvyat meant that the Brazilian would come six points short and he, Hülkenberg, Verstappen and Grosjean would be eliminated. The round of eight would incorporate the United States, Mexican and Brazilian Grand Prix and it was Hamilton who won at a soaking wet quota to take the race victory from Rosberg and Vettel to guarantee he could defend his title in Abu Dhabi. The race would also see three playoff drivers, Raikkonen, Bottas and Kvyat, all retire and despite leading the race for seven laps, Ricardo would only finish 10th. Rosberg won in Mexico, as Bottas finished 3rd to move back above the cut line by a sole point over Perez, who finished 5th in Cota and 8th at his first ever home Grand Prix. Kvyat and Ricardo finished 4th and 5th to move within 4 points of the cutoff, as a disaster for Ferrari saw both drivers retire from the race, meaning Raikkonen would need to finish at least 2nd in Brazil to progress. This result didn't come, 
as Rosberg won again ahead of Hamilton and Vettel, whose third place locked him in. Raikkonen came up just too short with fourth, whilst Bottas took fifth to progress to his first final four. Kvyat, Perez, Raikkonen and 2014 Championship 4 driver Ricardo were all out. Hamilton, Rosberg, Vettel and Bottas would therefore be the four drivers heading to Abu Dhabi with a shot at the championship. Hamilton going for two in a row, Rosberg looking to avenge 2014, Vettel going for a fifth title in his first final four and Bottas looking for a championship for the first time. Qualifying would prove dramatic as Vettel was eliminated in Q1. Hamilton topped the first two sessions, but he was unable to deliver when it counted, Rosberg taking pole with Hamilton second and Bottas qualifying sixth. As Rosberg held the lead into turn one, Bottas fell backwards down to tenth, and Vettel had already moved up to twelfth. Rosberg pitted at the end of lap ten, and Hamilton came in one lap later, with Vettel on an alternate strategy splitting the Mercedes once they'd both emerged from the pits. Hamilton passed Vettel on lap 14, and the German would fall to 4th before pitting on lap 24 and emerging ahead of Bottas in 6th. Rosberg had grown his lead to Hamilton, but the Brit started closing back in, getting it down to less than 2 seconds before Rosberg pitted again on lap 32. Hamilton wanted to try and go to the end without stopping, but had to pit on lap 42, emerging 12 seconds behind Rosberg. Hamilton would close the gap, but come up 8.271 seconds short of a third championship as Rosberg won the race in his first ever championship. Vettel finished fourth, whilst Bottas ended up 13th in a lap down. This is the first time where the playoffs may have a serious impact on an alternate universe. It is a common belief that Rosberg retired because he won the 2016 championship, and although partially true this is not entirely the case, Rosberg pushed himself harder than ever in 2016, giving up cycling to lose muscle mass, for instance. Without having done this in 2015, chances are he would have gone for a title defence. Either way, this is a fun and based off actual results, and although interesting, devising an algorithm to work out how Valtteri Bottas would perform in the 2016 Mercedes, and how his replacement at Williams, likely Adrian Sutil, would do for Williams, would just be long, complicated and very confusing. So for 2016, Rosberg will be staying at Mercedes to try and make it two titles in a row.